Why are trees heavy? Sounds silly, right? But think about it. Trees take in water, carbon dioxide, and nutrients to undergo photosynthesis under the presence of sunlight. It's not like they're eating an entire buffet from all you can eat restaurants. So where do they get all that mass from? To answer this question, in the 17th century, Jan Baptist van Helmont performed an experiment now called the willow tree experiment. You see, the prevailing theory then was that trees eat soil, and hence they become really, really heavy. He took a small willow tree, about five pounds, and a large pot filled with dried soil, about 20 pounds. After five years, he measured both their masses and found that the willow tree had grown by 164 pounds, while soil hardly changed by two ounces. He concluded that trees did not eat soil. So where did they get all that mass from? Carbon dioxide. Yeah, believe it or not, CO2, which is converted to glucose, cellulose, etc., is responsible for the mass of the plant. This was proved by the likes of Joseph Priestley, Jan Ingenhus, and Nicolas Theodore de Saussure, I'm pretty sure I butchered their Inus. So next time you see a tree, don't just think of it as a mere creature of nature that provides shade, food, and home to different creatures. Think of it like a giant reminder of how much carbon dioxide it has captured over the years. So look closely, because this isn't just a tree. It's a giant, heavy, silent promise.